Hi everybody, it is 6.40 in the morning. Um, I've just gotten up with a throbbing toothache. So it looks like I'm gonna have to pay for root canal on this tooth because that's the way it is. I, I was warned about this by the dentist. So it's something I'm gonna have to now um, pay for. And um, that is not what I'm looking forward to, but hey, such is life. Um, so to help alleviate that cost, I'm going to go to a toy fair and hopefully pick up some bargains to resell in the shop or online. And um, so I've got to get out of the house in, on this very wet and dark Sunday morning. And I'll bring you guys along with me and show you whether I pick up any bargains or not. It's now about half past seven and I've arrived at the car park and you can see the dealers unloading their cars and getting ready and some people look like they may be making deals with each other already who knows but i am ready and early to go in for the eight pound early bird entrance and i hope to find some good stuff driving a small car definitely doesn't make you better at parking as this person has proved they've actually driven into the space next to me and uh, they've made it extremely difficult for me to squeeze even my slender frame into the car um, on the plus side the toy fair was fantastic um, if anything I wish I'd taken even more money and had more time uh, to spend here but it is my day off um, and I've bought a fair amount of uh, stuff perfect for the shop um, especially in the run up to Christmas so I'm going to be taking this into the shop so I can quickly note down exactly what I paid for everything before I forget it all um, so I'll catch up with you guys later right everybody I'm back at the shop it is about 11 50? No, 11.30, about half past 11, back in the shop. Rebecca has come into work for the first time <laughs> since a week ago. Um, yeah, about a week. About, it's been about a week, since your day off, basically. Yeah, you got sick much. on your day off. Pretty and much. yeah, she got her day is off uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. She got sick on Tuesday, so, so she was sick. I did Thursday yeah. afternoon, but then yeah. regretted it. Regretted it, so she's, so <laughs> yeah. she stayed away after. So, um, nice to have Becky back in the shop. I'm not meant to be here today as, uh, was it Randall or Dante would say? I think it was Dante that would say that from Clerks actually. I'm not even meant to be here today. and um, But I am and I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up from the uh, Bolton Toy Fair. I'm really happy with it actually and it's made me want to go to each one of the the uh, Barry Potter fairs. If you guys don't know it's basically uh, Barry Potter is like the company that organizes these toy fairs all around the country so if you go to their website you'll be able to see if there's one near you some people travel to them um i'm not sure how far i'd be willing to go uh bolton is just about half hours drive which is very reasonable um but anyway i'll show you what i picked up most of the stuff that i picked up um was definitely with the shop in mind um you know where i could i feel like i could make profit in the shop from other dealers that are clearing their stock out hence why there's a lot of Funko Pops don't normally buy Funko Pops um, from wholesale even though I can these however I don't mind buying because you can pick them up for around like the three pound mark and in the shop we normally sell these for around the ten pound mark on average if that if there is a, a, a more you know desirable one we'll obviously price it accordingly um, out of this lot just immediately the Elvira sticks out because this one is worth a little bit more I think but unfortunately it's got a little bit of box damage but that shouldn't affect it too greatly um that's a quite a nice little vinyl figure but then there's a whole bunch of these funkos basically so uh some dc bombshell some rick and morty we've got an it one there as well mike hanlon we've got a spider-man green goblin so that was really cool i also picked up these mugs from there which are really nice we do well with mugs in the shop especially the 3d sculpted shaped ones we don't tend to stock regular shaped mugs anymore just because i don't think they're as desirable i think people just like a shaped mug if you're going to buy a mug you want it to be special so something like this really nice funko uh, deadpool mug that is so cute so we've got a few of those so that was cool um again shop in mind picked up a little lot of these keychain bottle openers ghostbusters keychain bottle openers we do well with this kind of stuff in the shop we had some shining bottle openers which we sold for like a 10 or a pop um so these are going to go on around the same ish price maybe a little bit less maybe 8.99 we're thinking but really nice metal ghostbusters bottle opener and um it will go nicely with the ghostbusters stay puffed um stress uh, balls that we've got as well um 
Then here you can see I paid seven quid for this uh, Peter Venkman figure. Should do okay on that. Um, this Pathfinder figure was really nice from Apex Legends and I dropped it when I got here and I cracked the blister, but still nice. And £16 I paid for this Marvel Select figure, which is a good price. Um, not actually far off trade, so really happy with that. Um, Walking Dead figures, paid 20 quid I think for this lot here. So we have got a Beta figure, we have got a Michonne figure here. You can see the, they were previously trying to sell, or whoever was saying it, for about £18. It's probably about right, probably what we'll be able to get in the shop for them. We have got Daryl. Um, Obviously we'll check them out if the prices have gone up or down, we'll, we'll bear that in mind and adjust them. We've also got Rick, that's the first, Rick is quite quite good actually. Um, and then um, we also picked up this Game Boy Advance, um, which we paid, they wanted 25, um, but I got it for 20. It works, but it does have some heavy scuffing in that bottom right area. Um, it did come with this box of Gunstar Future Heroes but actually the game included wasn't, the game included was a Yu-Gi-Oh game um, so it looks legit, it's got the proper screw on the back as well and the game itself is what it says so I'm pretty pleased with that pickup for um, 20 and I also bought that Hulkbuster figure there and cool. yeah it is pretty cool um, and we also bought for the shop um, some cheap Halloween masks just so we can sell them today and keep them for next year. One of my best pickups of the day, however, was this. It's straight out of, um, it came straight out and into my hand, straight out of the seller's like crate, as it were. And it was a whole bunch of these Stranger Things uh, figures, Funko figures. Uh, we've got a whole selection of them. I'm really excited about these. Some of these are going to have some decent value. I got the whole lot. Um, there's I don't know how many there's about eight figures in there or seven eight or seven figures I don't know I paid 40 quid which is not bad for that lot and some of those should have value especially the 11 one a little bit of a shop update I should have really gone home by now but I can see myself just being here now the whole day uh, Beck has been busy just listing away which is good she's saying hi again hi. yeah and we've been busy in the shop honestly guys like considering we're the only shop that's open pretty much on the high street we are definitely now getting to the stage where people are coming to us and especially today um people have been popping in on the off chance that we've got masks and guess what we've got masks um i think going forward it, this is definitely um a lesson that needs to be learned just like ken said in my last video um i think it's it's not it doesn't always fit in with what we do but i think if we're going to have all these really nice uh, collectible items that people like like these trick or treat studios masks etc we do also have to cater for people that don't necessarily want to spend 60 pound plus on a mask there there are going to be people that just want something more disposable or something that's just more affordable if nothing else and um you know, I think you've got to cater for that. We found that with the um, stocking the fidget poppers. Again, it's not really something that goes in keeping with the shop, but we would have disappointed so many kids over the summer holidays if we hadn't had them. I mean, like, we've made so many kids like days when they've been walking past and you literally hear exploding shouts of excitement, don't we, hun? Like fidget popper, like poppers, and like, and they come in and they just buy them, and it's like we'd be losing out on that business and we'd not be providing for our customers i always try to remind myself that we are here for the customer so what the customers are going to dictate to an extent what we have yes we've got a vision of what we want to stock um and we do serve a certain customer like you know the the, the, the geek the collector the fan of the pop culture the fan of horror the fan of marvel dc etc etc but we also should be there to serve people who want stuff to in in the wheelhouse kind of but don't necessarily want to spend all out and 
just having something of all ranges. A bit of a rambly way of saying we need to have stuff in all price ranges. This is basically what that was. It just it took me like five hours to say it. It's only me again. I thought I'd update you guys because we're about to shut up shop. I've ended up staying. It's nearly four o'clock. The last hour or two, almost two hours, has been very quiet. Mostly due to the weather, if I'm honest. We had a really nice little busy period. We took um, a decent amount of sales, which we're very pleased about. Um, and then like it's just gone quiet and mostly because it's just been raining so so much and the high street's been dead uh, we've had some nice sales come through on ebay though um sold this jacks um sd san diego comic con exclusive from 2014 jacks telefigure that sold for 30 pounds and that's going abroad buys pay 25 pound international shipping and we also sold this nendoroid number 1070 from fate grand order uh this is berserker slash paul bunyan so that is off to someone that sold for about 40 something 40, 47, 47 something offer out, out to watch out, yeah so, so um something. beck has been busy getting some listings done mm -hmm. uh, some listings drafted we still have all these funko pops to do and our first job going into the next week is going to be changing the front display out because mm -hmm. um obviously halloween is now done for us uh, so all those masks are going and we're going to be um we, we want we're, we're going like, um giftables, giftables like, yeah we're starting to focus on christmas now so yeah. it's going to be more giftables, giftables. so shop. yeah so we're going to put all like the mugs and the christmas baubles and the clocks and um funko pops and yeah, just giftable items yeah we're going to make it Chris yeah we're going to start focusing yeah. on christmasy uh gifts you know like the the keychains wallets that kind of stuff so um that's the end of that i really shouldn't have come in i'm knackered even more knackered now um but it is what it is i've enjoyed it um this first time in ages i've been in the shop with beck because she's been ill so yeah <laughs> it, yeah i think i just like being in the shop with you so yeah um i'm off tomorrow though and i will be off because i've got a dentist appointment first um and then i'll be going out actually meeting up with friends so cool thanks for watching everybody and um i'll see you later bye